So, an advert for paint is the latest thing to be deemed offensive, with the watchdog getting complaints in droves. So, let's have a gander. Now baby's coming and they don't know what it is. Hannah's hoping for a girl, Dave's just hoping that it's his. And they're happy the spare room's no longer grey. Cos there's a baby on the way. There's a baby on the way. Well, apparently people are annoyed because in the advert it sounds a bit like the woman has deliberately got herself knocked up to nail down her partner while he apparently worries whether the kid is even his. Now, let's be frank, this is probably the most realistic advert on telly. Rather than the picture-perfect couples with marble kitchen tops, mops that turn dog hair-riddled floors into ice rinks and T-shirts so white you need retinal repair. And without enraging feminists the world over, who I always champion, it's the oldest trick in the book, isn't it? The amount of times I've had the conspiratorial whisper about deliberately letting an accident happen now that I've got a lovely boyfriend. It's a thing. I'm just being honest with you. Now, what on earth is going on in America? Having raided his Mar-a-Lago home to purportedly seize classified documents Donald whisked out of the White House before leaving, something I think he was allowed to do, it now turns out agents have seized his passports too. It wasn't enough to run a show trial trying to bust Trump's chances of standing in 2024, his opponents are now seemingly using the spectacle of raiding his house. Oh, it won't be long before the BBC's Cliff Richard helicopter starts circling above. Why nick his passports, though? At the same time, in Burma, Aung San Suu Kyi is back under house arrest. America is starting to look like the very countries it has for years chastised while fielding that puppet president who could pass for a fossil. No wonder the West's enemies are making their moves. And carpet makers in the German town of Waldorf must have been busy as the town cats have been under strict lockdown for three months. Deutsche Katzen have been imprisoned to protect three pairs of great crested larks in the town from malign moggy murder, which means it must have been a field day for mice. Now, according to Google Maps, it will take the Pied Piper 73 hours to walk all the way to Waldorf from Hamelin. And the latest stateside Brit to come out with some weird multi-fangled hybrid accent is Brooklyn Beckham. Following Liam Payne, who seemed to swap his Wolverhampton drawl for Irish-American, and Prince Harry, who drifts into Hollywood psycho babble every few minutes. To be fair to the younger Beckham, he has lived most of his life in America. But aren't there just some people who are what I like to call accent hoovers? You know the ones. I remember when my brother was at school, he went on a French exchange for two weeks and came back speaking like the kid he'd been living with. Thank the Lord I'm not one of them with my Italian boyfriend. Imagine GB News with a Veronese twang. It's also a thing, isn't it, when people go back to their motherlands and the accents get hammed up and the mannerisms ramp up. I have never seen so many more exaggerated shrugs and that Italian hand thing so much than in, you know, last week when I was with him in his hometown, especially when he was driving.